Welcome back to my channel and back to Kenshin. We are carrying on with the secret summer paradise quest today. Uh, so we're just going to go straight down here to speak to Idea. I think she said we'd be going to the jungle in this next bit. So that'll be pretty cool. And here we are. Traveler and Paimon. How are you? Did you rest well? Yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like... Yeah, like wading through thick mud. That's a weird way to put it. Hmm. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. It's a very familiar feeling for me. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Good luck, everyone. I'll be rooting for you. Hold on. I said we, didn't I? No need to say goodbye, because you're coming too. Ha, <laughs> I told you. Huh? But wait, uh, I'm, I'm just the mascot! You can't back out this time, Adia. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She said Adia is the only person who could help. The fairgrounds? Yes, Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. Sounds cool. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Okay. Mirage Paradise in Crisis. Okay. I'm gonna teleport up to here. Just because we'll be slightly better off in terms of height. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do this and pray. Oh, it's going to be much lower than I thought anyway. No worries. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to see and hang out with Kaya and Koi again. I'm like, this is fine, but I'm not the... Please don't sue me for this. Or unsubscribe. But I'm not a huge fan of Eula as a character. I don't know, I just never really got her. This is probably going to go in the right direction. Oh. Dang it. Everything's ready. Let's she's got no health, but she's gonna do the thing. Come on, Kale, you can do it. That worked, right? Ah, yes. And bam. There we go. Gonna swap back into Yao Yao this time because Kale got killed last time, I forgot. Bless her. Let me help you pack this up. Said it before and I'll say it again. Exquisite chests are so much better to get than common. Ooh, is this a little. A uh, brilliant mirror. Oh, okay. 
I was expecting that to be something slightly more complicated, but I don't mind. Okay. team is so stupid, isn't it, really? <laughs> How fast it can kill stuff. For you. Um, where's the waypoint? Ah, uh, it's up here. Okay. Off we go. Anything interesting here? It doesn't look like it. There is going to be a mirror thing somewhere. Oh. Okay. Are you friends? Where are you going? <laughs> it's like hide and seek, but with betrayal. I love it. Okay, there's a couple of mirrors here. Different colours one. Okay, so we want an orange one, I guess. Okay, no. confused. There we go. I just can't put it in the range. I didn't like Let super read that. <laughs> Hello. You have a nice hat. Finally someone has arrived. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a deal with us. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Edia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. Damn. I feel a little bit sorry for Edia, but she doesn't really help herself that much. Hey, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Sorry, Yuba. Mm. Doesn't seem to be the first time Hymon's heard someone say that about Edia, though. <laughs> What? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, hey, frog. That is a gigantic frog. That's almost the size of Paimon. Oh, my God. Uh, no, please don't. All right, all right. I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? Hi, I'm Sara. And Paimon is Paimon. They're reliable helpers. Lucky for you that I found them. You'd better be more careful about how you speak to them, okay? Aw, Idea. After I've just been so mean to you. Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please follow me. Deep within the fairgrounds. This is very cool. Oh, we have a big circus tent. I love that. I wonder if we're going to get any clowns. Aside from Paimon. Wow. Look at that huge tent. Amazing, isn't it? I helped make it. What fun would a fairground be without a tent, right? Really? Oh, I knew you couldn't be so pathetic. <laughs> you just act modest all the time to hide your actual abilities. Uh, huh? 
What is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should tell you. I'm afraid it might dampen the mood. <laughs> That's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Uh, well... There are lots of vendor booths set up here, but there's no one running them. In fact, there's no one at this fair at all. <laughs> it looks pretty deserted. The truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But just a few days ago, something happened, and it seemed like... Like, the world was suddenly flipped upside down? Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Well, that's our third component. Oh, the crystal light. Mm-hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair, and made us that crystal light. But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the Hydro Eidolans were trapped inside. Well, that's my absolute top priority right there, the poor water droplets. Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came and offered his assistance. Wait, he offered to help you? Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent, and then... Yes? And then? Yeah! Don't leave us hanging here! What happened? And that's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Eidolans. Yeah, another victim. Oh no! We have to do something! We can't just leave him there, Maimuna! I mean... I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. You should mentally prepare yourselves. <laughs> Just talking about it is a waste of time. Since we're already here, let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. <sighs> Alright, this way please. Is this gonna be a domain? There used to be a large stage inside, but after everything got shaken up, it seems the very nature of the entire place was altered. The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down, which makes repairs near impossible. Wait, so you mean it's difficult to move around in there? Yes, mainly because of the lights. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. Uh... <laughs> I can't stand that feeling. Having everyone's attention focus solely on me would just make me feel terrible. I relate. Me too! I'm no good at speaking in front of people. And then to have everyone staring at you? Oh, just the thought of it makes me shudder. Sounds like you have some things you haven't been able to let go of yet. <sighs> Please don't laugh. I'm trying my best to change that, but... There are still some things I can't overcome. Like when there's a lot of people around, or when people are staring at me. Ooh. No, there's nothing funny about that. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to care when other people are looking. That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about failing to meet others' expectations. You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, then you'd be an even better dancer than me. She is a sweetheart, Eula. I don't know what it is, really. Because she's really nice. No, no way! <laughs> that would be impossible. I can relate. I know exactly how she feels. Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. And one day, you will become an outstanding dancer, too. By that time, you'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves that you'll no longer worry about an audience watching you. That's so nice. Wow. You are so passionate about this that she's practically glowing now. Really? You do that? You wouldn't think I look stupid and secretly laugh at me, would you? <laughs> you really think I'm that kind of person? <laughs> Fine. Vengeance will be mine. Oh, no! Of course not! Uh, Alright, please teach me. Seems there's no need for me to warn you again. 
Anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see the stage. Oh, cute. Okay, unlock and raise the crystal light. Okay. This Wait, is an interesting team. There's that thing in the middle there. That's my crystal light. It's been locked up. Well, let's figure out a way to fix this. Looks like we need to raise the platform underneath the crystal light. If I remember correctly, the stage controls should be somewhere around here. Oh, so I need to pick up. Okay. It seems we have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors. find them so slow. I'm less of a big damage in one hit but slow kind of person. I prefer That's one way of shining new light on the problem. Hey Mimuna? Oh my God. <laughs> Do you know someone named Sino? No, never heard that name before. Why do you ask? Oh, never mind then. I was just thinking you two would have a lot in common. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand. We should probably head into the passageway that opened now. I do like her animations though, it's very pretty. But yeah, I'm more of a small amounts of damage, but lots. Uh, I just find it more satisfying to do it that way than just have a big number. Hello? Is anyone here? If you can hear me, please help! Lessig Lawrence? H who are you? Who has the audacity to utter my full name? Oh god, I can't stand an aristocrat. I know I say that as a Brit, but... Uh, no, royal family. Ugh, get rid. Uh, you sure don't look like you're in any condition to be talking like that. Yep, he's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. Even though he's hanging on by a thread, he still insists on clinging to meaningless etiquette. Mm-hmm. You. What are you doing here? Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? Yeah, why not? If you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you're intentionally trying to provoke me? Of course, you don't have to accept my help. After all, aristocrats are naturally superior and need no help from others. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't need help from the likes of you. Don't want to give it. I don't think he really needs it, Eula. His tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eyes. It's my opinion as the healer that he needs help. Okay. <laughs> he's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's go. We'll leave the stage to this person who'd rather save face than save his own life. Hey, no, no, wait! Uh, halt! You cannot just leave me here. We're both of the Lawrence bloodline, after all. Helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. We must uphold the prestige and dignity of the family. This is the best reason you could come up with? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me into helping you? You should be ashamed for your careless actions. It's because of you that we all had to come here. 
I... Uh... Seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do anything to save face. Even though Eula sounds harsh, we did come all the way here to save him. Alright, alright. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. Here you go. One for Eula, and one for Lessig. What is this? Candy? Uh, thanks. Oh, the smell. It's just like the aroma I smelled coming from the lens. Yes, that's right. Enjoying something sweet always lightens the mood. Oh, thank you, Miss Mascot. I certainly do feel much better now. <laughs> so he's willing to thank someone else, but not me. Eula has been worrying about you the past few days, and asked me several times regarding how to find you. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions anymore! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Eula will never admit that she actually cares about him. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> if you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. <laughs> hmm? Oh, uh, sure, sure! Uh, I still have more! Sorry. I admit my mistake. I know I've caused heaps of trouble for all of you. <laughs> Why couldn't you have just said that earlier? I'm back. Oh? Have you already finished catching up? Why are you all looking at me? We want to go now, please. Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind us. All right. Then let's clean things up here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. Ah, there's no need to push yourself in your condition, Lessig. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. I happen to be a little tired myself. All right. I'll leave my cousin to you then. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Uh, okay. I think we're gonna call things here for now and we'll finish fixing up this crystal light in the next video so i will see you then bye